Hey Art, what you working on? Uh, replacing these bushings with some titanium bushings, but everything's in Japanese, so I'm about to pull out my Google Translator and camera to see what is going on. So doing this, it actually converts all the words from Japanese to English. Right before your eyes. Yep. So paper, Japanese. Phone. If it focus, English. Whoa. Check that out. Look at that. Whoa, there he goes. Look at that. Sick, man. So we're going to try it, see what happens, and we'll let you guys know. What brand are we working with? At the top? I don't know if it did. I think I think these are actually spoons. Oh yeah, they're spoon sport. Yeah. Spoon sport yeah. from Japan. It even says you have any problems with them, call the guys in Japan. It says it right on the top of the package. Yeah, so we're gonna try to install them and see what happens and I'm sure we'll get them on there and hopefully it works out. Alright, so these uh we still don't even know exactly what they're called because it's in Japanese. Let's see if that says again what it read. What did it read there? Uh, it just says installation manual, but like, what is it? Let's see the top of the box. Well, it says rigid collar instructions right there on that piece of paper there, but let's see what this says. Well, let's see what the box says. Let's see if the box will say anything. Oh, nice. Okay, all right, all right. That's neat. Okay, let's go over that tag right there. Did it say anything? No, just prelude a core. Okay. So well, anyways, it says right there it's rigid collars, and what they're doing is looks like it's going to be replacing the rubber bushings uh, with some titanium parts on the lower subframe. I don't know how many of you guys have accomplished this, so that's why we're making a video of it. So what it wants you to do uh, it was to lift the car up off the ground, obviously, because we're going to have to be we're going to have to drop the subframe um, and uh, when we get that and then when we get there we'll just uh, let you know how it goes <clears throat> the instructions have us lift the car up off of the ground we got the wheels off uh, so the next step would really be locating what hardware needs to come down because I believe there's gonna be a bushing on the top of the lower subframe and uh, the bottom so that may require us to to separate uh, the steering rack, it's possible. Cause uh, I don't know how else we're gonna get back there and get the top off. Uh, but I guess that's what it is because the instructions are pretty limited, right? It just shows like where yeah. they are. Yeah, where but... they are, but it seems like some of the stuff we've already taken off because we pulled the engine out. So like this bracket that it's asking to be removed, that's, I've already taken that off when I pulled the engine out. And I've already done a lot of these off, so maybe it's well because be i easier well maybe but i think what it's saying is because we we're gonna have to lower that whole thing right so maybe when you get down to the instructions something in here is gonna say oh yeah by the way you're gonna have to take this steering column off if you got this collar set uh in the states look at it actually comes with the english translation our fault all you had to do is look a little bit harder like as in right on top <laughs> But we, saw, but we saw, but we saw pictures. We're like, oh, pictures. You know, that's why we went to those ones. But uh, turns out there's actually English instructions. So yeah, after reading that, we do need to drop uh, the steering column. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. We got a tin right there. Uh, so what we need to do is mark the steering wheel, and then um, maybe put um, uh, some paint on both of those so we can get it aligned right. Yep. Yeah. So. We'll just start off by making sure the steering wheel is centered. I mean, if we're gonna mark the column and the uh, the collar, then you know we should be spot on. Anyway, but uh, we'll get a we'll get a paint marker and uh, get that marked up. Oh, it's loosened up by hand already. Just correct. Yeah, it was. I wonder what kind of job this would be with the engine in. The intake manifold hangs up over this, uh, the rear cross member quite a bit. Yeah, even just the fuel filter was would be a pain with the engine in here. There's no room just to sure. it's paint. Well, it looks like maybe right 
like where your hand is, like coming up from the bottom, you might be able to get your arm in there, maybe. Maybe. Of course, you get the tools in there to loosen this tent and do everything else. Hmm. You know, because you have the rear motor mount on there too. I guess it would just drop the the motor with it. Geez, that seems like quite the job to replace those yeah. if there was a motor in here. Yep. All right, get so to work. Hopefully that's loose and that will fall right off as soon as we start taking off the sticker. Tell me what you did. So I lowered the, the subframe. I loosened the four bolts, I dropped it down about 20 millimeters and I pulled out one of the bolts so I could add these on there. Uh, they go in between the subframe so if you get down here you can see where i pulled the bolts out there's going to be one of these that goes on top of that and the other one that goes just below that right where the bolts go so this will go on the bottom and then this other top hat looking one will go up to up in the top right in the hole and then i'll just start tightening back up was there anything in its place no there's nothing there? There's nothing there. Okay, so if so. I had to guess what these do then, is it makes up the slop inside that yeah, hole. Yeah. And so that could stiffen it up yeah, to keep because, it from sliding it around. I mean, if you see, the, this bolt and this washer looking thing now is really close together. So there's not going to be any movement once these go on. They're completely there. This washer looks like it fits right where it needs to right in here. So hopefully I don't have any issues tightening them back up as soon as I get them in there. Nice, okay. Was this pretty difficult? Like, or you just took those bolts out and it just dropped pretty easy? Yeah, yeah, because after we, low, we lowered the rack with the engine not being there, I mean, the subframe was pretty easy to get to. So you, did you drop one. both sides? Both sides, yeah. Okay. I had to loosen off four of them. So it dropped down, because if you just try to do the two on one side, it's still going to stay up until you loosen the other sides, and then it drops down equally. Yeah, and it looks like you'll be able to slide that piece in there, and we'll watch it. We'll watch you do it. <laughs> Oh, so there it is. Drop in there, yeah. Here's the other one. There you go. And we'll just and tighten until I get them all in. You get them all in. I'll probably loosen or tighten this up just a little bit more, so just so it doesn't out. fall out, or the suffering fall on top of while we're working on the other side. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It also comes with this grease it says to put on there so we're doing it and uh, yeah so I'm just putting it where it's going into the hole and then I'll do the other one It didn't even really drop uh, the steering rack out of the, too much out of the steering column. No, it's actually, it's still engaged. You can see our markings. It didn't come out all the way. That's good. All done. Oh. Well, wait a minute. You still got the rack up here to tighten up. Oh, that's right. And uh, well, check that out. All right, so we still have a little bit to work in there. Maybe uh, you can grab a pry bar and pull up, up underneath of it. That might bring it down, or maybe you got to bring the steering column back down on it, like by hand there. 
Oh, oh. there it is. Here, uh, do both of that now. See what happens. I kind of hold it. No, no, underneath. No, no, no. You're going to put the pry bar underneath the rack to hold it while you kind of work the U joint down. Make sure it's all that. Yeah, that's pretty much it, huh? Yep. Okay, simple enough. Let me just tighten it back up. So, as far as install goes, what do you rate this? If the engine is in there, maybe an eight. Uh, without the engine, uh, three. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Yeah, once we figured out like where, where they go and stuff, it wasn't too hard. Like I said, lower the, the subframe, and other than that, it was it was cake. So thanks cake. for hanging out with us on this really quick spoon. Um, this really quick spoon. Hold on. What is this thing again? <laughs> <laughs> This really quick spoon rigid collar install. Guys, thank you for watching and like always, happy tuning.